Uh, I don't even know what's going on. See how the handles are a little bit more ahead? You're pushing back. Wider stance, a little bit wider. That was low and penetrated. Clear those hips, open that lower body. You're like my little prodigy. Solid. That was it. That's a lot better. All right, guys, welcome back to the Good Good Labs channel. By the title of this video, you probably know what's about to happen, but we got my man, Henry, here. You guys have probably seen him on YouTube before. I've actually done some matches with him. Henry's my former college teammate, my best friend. We're gonna work on his swing today. We're gonna try and get him dialed. He said basically he's completely like lost his game in a sense that he's lost 20 yards, 20, 15 to 20 yards yeah. in your game. I mean, I've just not been playing as much, and uh, yeah, basically all my old eight irons are going about as far as some of my best seven irons now so it's kind of, I don't even know what's going on so I'm hoping I can learn something today because I've lost way too much distance you got to realize Henry he was almost a scratch golfer at one point very low handicap was always shooting right around even par so his bad is still gonna look probably decent to you guys but when you lose 15 to 20 yards and you're a whole club less it's just it's not good he's also been struggling a lot with his chipping so let's see a couple shots here let's get right into this lesson hit a couple just warm up I want to see some full wedges from you and see what's going on here. I know you guys like seeing lessons kind of this is just just like a live lesson I'm bringing you guys behind the scenes here also guys it is a hundred degrees out here in Texas 103. so 103 degrees we are sweating like crazy I've been really struggling with just getting it too high up in there and if you know that I mean the wind just completely kills the ball so yeah it's a big problem I, I know what Henry's tendencies are because I've worked with him a lot on his swing we'll see if he's doing exactly what I'm thinking not bad it's kind of just floating though yeah, no, I'm pulling everything a little bit. Probably 15 yards left of the yellow target right now. Contact's not bad. It I'm just looks like everything. it does look like it's like just going a lot shorter than it used to hit it. Yeah. It just looks very like I don't know. You used, used to yeah, it's weak. It's weak. Yeah. So we gotta actually that comes down to one thing: compression. We gotta actually start compressing the ball. And I feel like I'm gonna watch a face-on view, but it looks like you're not. You don't have a ton of shaffling through impact. You're yeah. kind of scooping underneath it. Wider stance, a little bit wider. Yep. Yeah. Weight left. A little bit better, a little thin there. Yeah. Still scooped, it's, you kind of lost your angle through impact. So, what I want you to feel, Hen, get over the ball, go ahead. Just st set up to the ball like you normally would set up to the golf ball. Everything normal, get over the ball. Where I feel comfortable. Yeah, where you feel comfortable. Now, when you get to impact, we're gonna start here. This is what we're gonna do. Hips cleared, handle ahead, right shoulder underneath more. So that's the feeling I want you to have. Hips more cleared, there. That's the feeling. And now swing up to the top. Swing up to the top there. That's the feeling, just boom. Go ahead, let it go all the way to the top the feeling so I want you to repeat that impact vision go you have to exaggerate it here Ooh. see how the handles are a little bit more ahead you're pushing back that should drive the ball a little bit lower and get your distance back you have to exaggerate that feeling if you want to make any changes in golf you can't just do little things you have to exaggerate it a ton yeah if you're not feeling uncomfortable you're not doing it right that is the moral of the story <laughs> all right let's do it let's get over it here we go go to that position get over the ball like normal there that's the feeling now get over the ball and do your normal swing face a little bit more square it's a little open to start okay. there we go Handle a little bit more ahead. There. There, we go. there. There you go. That was low and penetrated. Yeah, it was good. That was like this. The other ones were floating and not still going has, anywhere. That still was, has a little bit of cut spin on it, which yeah. is a little interesting. Let's get one down the line, Chase. Let's see if you guys can see his ball flight here. Let's do that same thing. Get over the ball. A little better. That was a lot lower and a lot farther. 100% further. You're still a hair out to end there. Yeah. That was slightly out to end your path. Yeah. So let's do it one more time. And then we're gonna work our way up, guys. We're gonna move on to like a, an eight iron. We're just hitting a couple wedges to warm up here. Clear those hips, open that lower body. Oh. That one rode up the face. See that, that's your old shot. Look how short that's gonna go. I landed halfway of your last one. So let's do it, let's, let's keep trying to compress it here. Now go back there. Exaggerate it, now go back to your normal setup. There. There you go. Yeah, that was better. A lot better there. It was a little bit short, but it was yeah, solid. A lot better there. Let's move on to let's move on to the eight iron. Here. If you're making changes in your golf swing, guys, a wedge is not the way to do it. You can get away with a lot of bad swing flaws if you're hitting just a wedge. So we're gonna move up to like an eight iron, and now we'll really see what's going on here. Before we move on to the iron here, guys, I want to talk a little bit about how Henry used to be and where he's gotten now. Because we had four years in college together, and when Henry showed up his freshman year, he had a baseball grip like this and was shooting probably like. 
85 and 90. We've changed his grip. I mean, he's like, you're like my little prodigy. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite the journey with Grant. When I, I remember the day that I showed up to the first qualifying event in college, Grant was in the group and I was just like amazed at how far he was hitting it. It was like, wow. Me, being myself, it was like such an amazing thing. I was only hitting the ball like 220. So seeing these guys being so good and hitting it so far and so straight and so consistent, it really made me become a better player, honestly. And we've, we've done a lot with Henry Swing over the years, but he hasn't been playing a ton since college, but if you haven't played a ton. I probably get out about once a month-ish. Yeah, now we're gonna work on to the eight iron here. I'm gonna really try and compress this thing, get his distance back, that's the goal. His swing looks fine. I'm not gonna change a lot, positions, grip, everything looks good with Henry right now. He's always been a really solid ball striker, but we gotta get that compression a little bit better. Okay. A little swipey. I'd rather see that though than a, like a high floater that goes nowhere. There. There, man. It was more compressed. It jumped off the face, that shot. I definitely felt it come more from the inside there, and when you come from the inside on the golf ball, it really is a cool feeling. Yeah, when you don't swipe across it. Yeah. Okay. That's a huge thing, too. I mean, we're talking a lot about his shaft lean, but his path is slightly out to in right now, and I know that if we work on him really clearing and working on that shaft lean, he's naturally going to come a little bit more from the inside. That was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That's a lot better. I just want to see that ball flight get a lot lower. I've watched Henry a little bit off camera. He was hitting some shots. They were going up to the moon. And I was just like, that's not normally how Henry hits it. So this exaggeration he's feeling is working out really good. We're going to move on to a six iron now. And then we're going to hit a couple drivers to end it off. Nice. Solid. You naturally always cut the ball a little bit, but you don't swipe it. There's a difference between swiping across the ball and deflecting it versus hitting a slight little cut, like a power fade. Same thing, get to that position, rehearse it. Feel that, good, good, perfect. Now go back. Dude, that is so much better. And that flight is like so piercing. Right. I don't know, that's the feeling. All right, now let's move on to a couple drivers here. It is so hot out here, guys. Like I can't even, this is hotter than like Florida, which is crazy. Yeah. So he's gonna hit my driver here for a couple. You don't have to really feel that much shaffling with this. It's a driver. It's not the same as an iron swing. Let's see a couple. Oh, that, there. that was good. He's so in dead straight. Henry likes to tee the ball lower with his driver. I like it higher. I want him to launch it a little bit. Here we go. Nice. A little butter cut. I mean, you're hitting it so much farther now with your irons. It's a lot better than when we started at least. Actually, yeah, that feels really good. But yeah. I'm really happy with the way Henry was hitting his irons there. He started to hit them a little bit lower and they're going so much further than when we started. We might do some lessons with Henry in the future, like maybe a playing lesson, but he's a really solid golfer. We want to get him dialed. If you guys did enjoy that little live lesson with a really good golfer, hit that like button. Until next time guys, peace out.